Good morning. Good morning. Late start today. Yeah, it's 9.30. Running this house was worn out. We were going to go to church, of course. But I don't think Tate woke up until 8. Because we were out so late yeah, last night and I was having a really hard time getting out of bed. And I was very, very nauseous this morning. Sorry. So, I finally when I kind of woke up a little bit on my own, I said, well, I'll go get in the shower. And you said it's already after 9. So, I'm eating some granola so I can take my medicine and we'll have to come up with a new plan for today. New plan. So, obviously needed to rest. Yeah. Please hang up and try again. But we're going to waste the battery juice. And bless his sight. Amen. You know it. Do it one more time. We'll do it together. <laughs> down, down to, to sleep. sleep. I, I pray the Lord, Lord my soul to keep. keep. Angels watch me through the through night, night and keep me in their blessed, blessed sight. Amen. Mm -hmm. What is this thing that you built that you brought in here? Can you tell me about this? Um, it's it's leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Okay, what is it? It's a um, um, bomb shooter. It's a bomb shooter. Okay. Where'd you go? <laughs> I hear you. Oh, those look like some clean pajamas in the laundry basket. Oh, but they're giggling. <laughs> Hi. That was a good hiding spot. Yeah, it was. Okay, we're getting a really late start today, aren't we? It's already after 1 o'clock. And we're just now going to figure out lunch. It's almost 2 o'clock. You ready to go? It's 1.30 right now. Tate finally came and woke me up. He said it was 12.13 when I needed to get up. And it was, it was noon. Way to go, buddy. I didn't know you could tell time. I just all not, right. I'm just not feeling energetic at all today. I'm sorry. I feel really, really, really sluggish. Tomorrow will be one full week. Oh. I just want to feel better. I love you, Mommy. I love you, buddy. Yeah, he loves you. Doesn't Thank that you. make it feel better? Yeah, it does. Thank you, buddy. It does make everything better. You two are the reason I fight so hard. I'm going to. Yeah, let's take Mommy to see this house and then we'll be yeah. I don't know if we talked about it yesterday. We, I don't know if we told everybody. We found out that the, there's a good bit of roof rot <laughs> on the house that we have a contract on. By. So and we I and mean, we can't say for sure, but the person that we're buying from is trying to sell the house as is because he's obviously trying to get his money back out of the deal. But I mean, the house is worth what the house is worth in this market, and. Right now, I mean, if we're having to put on new roof, new AC, redo all the floors, finish the electrical and plumbing, finish the sheetrock upstairs, put in a new kitchen, bathroom. The only thing that we're buying is a lot and a framing <laughs> and a foundation, which, yeah, that does save you money, but does it save us, uh, what, $180,000 worth of money? Probably not. I, mean, I just told the group to go over there and ask him what he wanted to look at at Best Buy because I was tired of wrestling. And now he's sitting over here doing this. <laughs> Which is what he was doing over here to me. He thinks that it's a playground or a restaurant. Hey, Tay, is this a playground or a restaurant? Um, a restaurant. So why are you treating it like a playground? <laughs> Can you sit on your bottom, please? It's just your imagination? Yeah, he's yeah. been playing pretend all day. You've been playing pretend all day? 
Oh. That's okay. Mommy and Daddy have been playing pretend for a couple weeks now. About this house. Yeah, sounds like the dreams are coming to an end. It's all crashing down. The roof is falling in. Oh my gosh. There's something okay. wrong with that child. I've got to go. I've got to get out of here. Kid is that somebody should get a hold of that I guy? Know, he ran up to me, like, Excuse me, me, sir. <laughs> Somebody's parents ought to get that child and do something with him. <laughs> Show mommy where the video games are. He really wants one. I don't know which way they are. Hey, I'll make a deal with you on the internet. If you can go one full week worth of without any timeouts or getting skittles every day at school. For your birthday, I will buy you a video game. Oh. This way. Go show her. Oh. Yeah, I, see I will get you the Skylander thing for your birthday if you can go a full week without getting in trouble. What did you say about design? That I just I just walk through Home Goods and it makes me realize I want to help people with their houses. Especially now that he's going to be in school more for full time. Like, I really want to get back into it more because I good, enjoy it. It's a good plan. Yeah. It is almost already time for church. But it's already. It's already. Yeah. Everybody's Everybody's guessing where we are. I let Miss Martha know where we were this morning so she wouldn't worry. Mommy just wasn't feeling real hot this morning. I was worn out. I'm getting better though, aren't I? What'd you tell me earlier? I'm gonna keep fighting? You gonna help me keep fighting? Yeah. Cheer me on? Yeah, you're a good encourager, you know that? Yeah. I appreciate it. What are you doing? I, Don't I, walk into anything. Oh, there you are. Okay, we need to get to the potty and get shoes on to go to church. Where are you? Oh, I'm right here. Hello. Okay, hold on. box to church tonight. Okay, let's go to church because we're running late. Come on, box. Okay. What did he say? He took my hat off. He said, let me see. I want to see where they cut you open and where they did the radiation. He likes to see it. He does. Is that cool? No. No? Is mommy having had Brain surgery, is that cool? He asks if it hurt. No. Does it hurt mommy? No. I was asleep when they did the surgery, so it didn't hurt at all. Does it's... that make you feel better that it didn't hurt me? Yeah. It makes you feel better to know that? It didn't hurt at all because I was asleep. And the radiation didn't hurt either. It just made mommy skin itch. Yeah, he asked about one of the little red spots and he said this hurt just a little bit? And I said, um, it's just a little irritated, but it'll get better. Right. We're, we're glad radiation is over. And I'm going to keep on fighting. Please keep fighting on it. Yes, of course. I don't need you to give up. I'm not giving up. I'll never give up. I'm glad. Going to church since yep. we didn't go this morning. <sighs> Still worn out. I feel like it's a quest every night to find his second puppy. We've created a totally new problem in this house. 
before we were only keeping track of one puppy. Now we're keeping track of two puppies. We got and a second you, puppy so it could be his nap puppy. If you count now also, he now it's to, three puppies. Now he needs it to sleep. <laughs> awesome. He came in here with both puppies to Where's talk Where's the to other you. puppy? He had them both in the bathroom. Look at me when I talk to you, Awesome. Where's that other dog? Okay, Tate. All right, let's go when find you came it. came in here, what, where did you do with it? He's worried you're going to make him get off the bed. Look at his face. I was told yesterday that I'm not allowed to sell you, even though you're costing <laughs> me money. Look at, he looks so worried. I tried. Okay. He's so. not happy with you. Oh, there he goes doing that blanket thing again. <laughs> Whoa. All the people in my life are crazy. All the people in your life? I don't I'm going to tell you about the good things in my day first because it was a really tough day and I don't want to be negative so I'm going to tell you the positive things first. So first, Bible study tonight was really encouraging and I really enjoyed that. And second of all, I had a really good um, story from one of my friends who told me her son prays for me every night and one night this week he got really excited and said, God was going to tell him something special and then she asked what and he said that God had was going to make me all better and so that made me feel really good because I do think that God puts things on our hearts and sometimes he puts things on children's hearts that we don't understand and then the other good thing is Sensodyne toothpaste really does work it's helping my teeth feel a lot better because my teeth have been really sensitive and I combed out a lot less hair in the shower today than I have any other day. So I'm hoping I'm stopping losing hair now that radiation's been over for almost a week. It's because you've lost all of it already. Yeah. You don't have anything else to lose. Well, it's just been, it's been a tough day. I'm sorry. I'm not making it any better, Emma. No, you're making it a lot better. I'm just really tired. Mm -hmm. I overdid it yesterday and I get overly ambitious and I'm not good at being patient and I feel like there should be something I can do to help my body heal and recover quicker and there's really not anything I can do other than rest and so we missed church this morning because I slept till noon the reality is is that it's not like turning off a faucet when radiation's over, you don't just magically feel better. No. So I'm having a really hard time with that. Plus, I think I've just been coming to the realization that life is never going to be the same again. And I said before I had surgery that it would take me about six weeks. And ironically enough, radiation was about six weeks, and here we are. It's all kind of setting in. How much life has changed. And then we realized too that, you know, Tate's three and he'll probably never ever remember life any different than the way it will be from now on. <laughs> like all I will always have beaten a brain tumor in his mind because he's not really old enough to remember anything before this. Which is good. I mean, hopefully that means he'll know what a strong fighter I am and how important it is to rely on God. But I just... There's something about being naive, like, in some ways. I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this combination of feeling like so much responsibility for being an influence on other people and sharing you know positive things with people but also I just know that certain things aren't important so I just don't care so it's a really strange place to be to not care about stuff like I just want to throw everything in my house that doesn't really matter out because it's not worth wasting my time on cleaning it and taking care of things that I can't take with me I don't know it's just not important. Anyway, it's just been a long day. I 
I really appreciate all the encouragement everybody's given me. It's been harder since radiation ended than I thought it would be. So I really appreciate all the prayers and comments that I've received from people because I'm still fighting, that's for sure. Alright, I guess I better say goodnight. So I can sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be a little better day. It'll be a whole week tomorrow. Monday to start all over again. Yeah. Good night. My friend Lauren, who runs a really cool website and has a booth at the Bees Knees, she probably doesn't even know I'm talking about her. She did a blog post a long time ago on her blog called, um, what is it called? Escaping me. Little Big Nest? Anyway, um, she did drop cloth curtains in one of her son's rooms, and it was a really brilliant idea. So I don't want to take credit for the idea because it wasn't mine. But thank you, Lauren, because now with 12-foot ceilings, 